Hey everyone, I'm Ron Corning and I am inside a hyperbaric chamber. I'm going to spend an hour in here. I'll let you know what it's about and how you might benefit from oxygen treatments. Closer look at that coming up tomorrow morning on Daybreak, 4.30 to 7 a.m. They call it diving. Mm -hmm. You know those tabloid photos that you saw over the years of Michael Jackson in an oxygen chamber? Right. I know it was like tabloid fodder, but athletes actually use it to help them um, with injuries to, to heal uh, better and faster. And now some people are using it for rejuvenation, for just weekly rejuvenation. You go in for an hour, an hour and a half, and there is a doctor locally who uh, is hoping that it becomes more common for more people like this attorney we caught up with. When I start getting tired and worn down and I can feel myself starting to get sick, hyperbaric oxygen therapy resets that clock and I don't get sick. Increased oxygen increases the cell metabolism. So it detoxifies the cells, helps your liver clear your normal body toxins quicker, uh, helps the brain cells uh, increase in their metabolic function so you have clarity in thought process. It's about $125 for a treatment. No insurance doesn't cover it. It's obviously an elective. It's it's almost the equivalent of what you would do to relax, like a massage or any other rejuvenation Whoa, who's that? treatment. And that's me. I look like I'm entombed. Um, so I'll let you know, I actually did feel differently for a few days after this, a little more rested. It is Movember and all month long we've been talking about men's health and today we're going to focus on how men process stress and fatigue. We don't process it at all, that's the problem. Uh, instead of energy drinks or a spa day, some North Texas men are turning to oxygen therapy. I tried it out myself, have a look, all new this morning. People, what you're doing? Uh, you mean otherwise treatment wise? Yeah. Hyperbaric oxygen. Yeah, what is that? Okay, uh, that's uh, the tank that yeah. Michael Jackson used to get in all the time, right? Yes, it's true, but Jackson's tabloid photos aside, hyperbaric oxygen therapy is an FDA approved treatment used for burns, wounds, decompression sickness, and carbon monoxide poisoning. And now, right here in North Texas, some folks are using the therapy as a weekly pick-me-up, a Red Bull alternative of sorts. Dallas attorney Dennis Fuller works long hours under high stress. When he needs a recharge, he turns to oxygen. It resets my clock. When I start getting tired and worn down, and I can feel myself starting to get sick, hyperbaric oxygen therapy resets that clock, and I don't get sick. They call it diving. Dennis does it every Saturday for an hour and a half. Because of my unusual schedule, I stopped by the Hyperbaric Centers of Texas in Richardson. All right, everyone, so now I'm going to give this a try. It's a little after 10 o'clock in the morning, and I've been up for many, many hours, so this may actually be a one-hour nap for me, which I, I guess is an option. And I'm wondering if this treatment will help those of us who are on odd schedules, a little sleep-deprived. We're going to talk to Dr. Johnson and find out. Dr. Johnson. Good morning. How are you? Good to see you. Thank My you so pleasure. much for having us. No cosmetics, perfumes, or hair products allowed in the chamber, and you can only wear cotton clothing. So basically, if you have a hair product in your hair, which of course, I mean, I have more than the average guy, um, the oxygen could react with it and cause an explosion. So we could probably, with the amount of gel and hairspray, uh, in my hair, we could probably blow up two blocks of Richardson. With a few minor preps out of the way, I meet up with Dr. Johnson, who says the treatment works the same for on-label and off-label use. The increased oxygen increases the cell metabolism, so it detoxifies the cells, helps your liver clear your normal body toxins quicker, uh, helps the brain cells uh, increase in their metabolic function, so you have clarity in thought process. And then it was time for my dive, one hour in the tank, serene and peaceful. Just go, go ahead, we'll uncover you, let you sit up. When it was over, I felt over. a bit refreshed and relaxed and maybe a little disoriented, right. which is nothing Thanks new. So much. Enjoyed it. <laughs> and as, as they are um, increasing the oxygen pressure, you feel your ears pop like when you're taking off in an airplane and you yeah. just kind of have to you know, do this and, until it evens out and levels out. Otherwise, you don't really feel a whole lot, but I did sort of feel over the next few days a little more energetic, not mm -hmm. as tired as early in the afternoon before I take my nap usually. Mm -hmm. And I thought, okay, is this a placebo effect? Is it all in my head? I don't know. I can't answer that. We do know there's science behind how it helps cell metabolism for wound 
patients, burn victims, and then another non-FDA approved use is for children um, with autism and cerebral palsy and other such things. Okay, so how much? Um, it's 175 per session there, so sort of equivalent to a couple of training sessions with a trainer or a spa day. Will the price of it come down? Will these oxygen chambers become like tanning beds, more readily accessible and, and cheaper? Probably not, but um, Dr. Uh, Tom, uh, Dr. Johnson, uh, Alfred Johnson wants to um, see more of these and sort of open up clinics where people can get these treatments on a more regular basis. Well, look at you getting a one hour nap on the job. How about that? How Get about paid that? for that one. Mm -hmm. I like that. Coming up here next on Daybreak.